Have you ever wondered how electricity reaches your home from the power plant? It's a journey that begins with the primary distribution systems, an essential part of our electrical power network. These systems act as the initial stage in the electrical power distribution network, delivering electricity from power plants to various substations and then to you, the end user. They are like the veins and arteries of our electrical infrastructure, ensuring that power flows efficiently and reliably to where it's needed. There are several types of primary distribution systems, each with its unique design, strengths and limitations. The selection of the right distribution system is a careful process, considering factors like geographical layout, population density, reliability requirements and cost considerations. Today we will explore three common types of primary distribution systems. The radial system, ring main system and interconnected network system. So buckle up as we delve into the fascinating world of primary distribution systems in the next few minutes. Imagine a tree. The radial system works similarly, where power flows in one direction from a single source to multiple branches. Just as a tree draws nutrients from its roots and distributes them to its myriad of leaves, the radial system delivers electricity from the substation to the end users. This is the essence of the radial distribution system, simplicity and directness. The system's straightforward structure makes it cost effective. There's no need for complex switch gear or redundant lines. It's just a single unidirectional path from the power source to the consumer. This cost effectiveness is one of the main reasons why many rural and suburban areas adopt the radial system for their electricity distribution. However, while simplicity is often a virtue, in the case of the radial system, it can also be a limitation. The system's reliability and redundancy are compromised due to its linear nature. If a fault occurs in the main feeder, it can lead to a power outage in the connected branches, just as a blockage in a tree's trunk can starve its branches of nutrients. This lack of fault tolerance is a significant downside of the radial system. While the radial system is appealing for its simplicity and cost effectiveness, it can suffer from reliability issues if there's a fault in the main feeder. However, in areas where high reliability isn't a critical factor, the radial system's cost-effectiveness and straightforward operation make it a viable choice. Scene script. Next, we have the ring main system, which forms a closed-loop configuration, much like a circular racetrack. Picture a circular racetrack, with all the electricity being the race cars. Now, in a ring main system, these race cars, or in our case, electrical power, can speed off in either direction. This dual directionality is a significant advantage of the ring main system. It means that if there's a fault at one point of the loop, our electrical race cars don't need to slam on the brakes. Instead, they can simply reroute and continue in the opposite direction. This ability to reroute power, almost like a detour around a traffic jam, makes the ring main system incredibly reliable. It's a system that doesn't just stop when it encounters a problem. It finds a way around it, ensuring that the power keeps flowing and the lights stay on. This design also provides a measure of redundancy. If one path is blocked, there's always another route available, offering an extra layer of security against power outages. And because of these features, the ring main system is often the system of choice in areas where continuous power supply is critical. Think bustling cities, busy factories and densely populated urban areas. In these places, a power outage can cause significant disruptions. So the reliability offered by the ring main system becomes crucial. This makes the ring main system a popular choice in urban or densely populated areas where reliability is crucial. Last, but certainly not least, is the interconnected network system, a complex and flexible arrangement akin to a grid or mesh. Picture a city street map where there are multiple ways to reach your destination. This is a rough analogy for the interconnected network system in primary electrical distribution. In this system, multiple substations are linked together, forming a comprehensive network that allows electricity to flow through several paths. Think of these substations as the intersections in our city street map analogy. They enable the power to take different routes, just like how you can choose different streets to reach your destination. This flexibility is a key strength of the interconnected network system. It enhances the overall reliability of the power distribution. 
If a fault occurs along one path, the system can reroute the power through another path, minimizing disruptions to the end users. Think of it as a detour when your usual street is blocked. You still reach your destination, albeit through a different route. In the same vein, this system is advantageous during maintenance work. Power can be directed through alternate paths, avoiding service disruption, while the necessary work is completed on the affected lines. The interconnected network system is like a well-oiled machine, smoothly managing the electricity flow and responding to changes as needed. However, it's worth noting that this complexity comes with a higher cost compared to the radial or ring main systems. The interconnected network system requires more substations and more cable lines, leading to higher installation and maintenance costs. Despite these costs, the interconnected network system's high reliability makes it an attractive choice for large urban areas and regions with high power demand. These areas cannot afford frequent power disruptions, and the interconnected network system provides a reliable solution to meet their needs. In summary, the interconnected network system is a highly flexible and reliable primary distribution system, offering multiple paths for power flow and the ability to reroute power in case of faults or maintenance. Due to its high reliability, the interconnected network system is commonly used in large urban areas and regions with high power demand. So we've journeyed through the radial, ring main and interconnected network systems, each with its unique advantages and challenges. The radial system, like a branching tree, is straightforward and cost effective, yet its reliability can be compromised by a single fault. On the other hand, the ring main system, forming a closed loop, improves reliability by allowing power to flow in either direction, making it ideal for urban areas where consistent power supply is vital. Lastly, we delved into the interconnected network system, a complex grid-like pattern connecting multiple substations. This system offers enhanced reliability and flexibility, especially in large urban areas with high power demand. But remember, there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to choosing a system. It's about assessing the geographical layout, population density, reliability requirements, and cost considerations. The selection of the right distribution system is a crucial step towards designing an efficient and reliable electrical power distribution network. Thank you for joining us on this electrifying exploration.